and there was no forum to kind of get together. And so I had gone to a real estate uh, uh, event called Priya, where all of the real estate experts get together. And then I'd gone to a public markets event. And I thought, you know, there must be a better way, given that private equity is going to be a pretty big asset class, that people can work together, get to know each other, like happens in these other asset classes. We basically sent out a bunch of emails to people around the world saying, we have this idea. And we had a series of conference calls over about a year. And then we ultimately had this big gathering in Washington, D.C. at the World Bank in the Hall of Nations, which was the room with the flags of every country along the, the ceiling. It's a beautiful room. And that is where we formally started ILPA. So we uh, elected uh, first board of directors. I became the first chairman for the first four years, and we adopted bylaws. And it was a complete ragtag operation. Uh, there were no dues, so there's no staff. Um, we did all the work ourselves. Actually, ILPA is now cemented as the most important organization of private equity investors globally. And it's not even a question, are there any competing groups or it's, you know, it is ILPA. And, you know, from our ragtag beginnings to the, the great organization we have today, I think the team is in place to really take it to the next level. So I look forward to helping. Uh, and I, you know, I think uh, anybody who's been an LP for a long period of time should feel proud of what has been built and, and, and hopefully we can continue to get old voices and new voices to come together and help ILPA continue to represent the asset class in such a great way. Thank you.